every single one of these plays has some massive news some massive catalysts and updates coming very soon which can make them have a parabolic type run definitely have to see this one like the video if you are enjoying this content guys i have a 0 0.001 penny stock that just did 19 plus million dollars in revenue with net profit of 2.8 million dollars this comes just after they only did you know just under six million dollars in revenue for 2022 so that pretty much 3x and went beyond that for 2023 we have two triple zero penny stocks and one of these actually says they have 10 plus prs to be released which could cause a massive move with the stock price they say they have a 1 billion share reduction a very big prominent gold mining acquisition that is about to be finalized more details coming soon and say they have at least eight more prs to be released along with those and that's according to their twitter page and this is just speculation but if these do come out could see a very big move i have a 0 0.0004 penny stock that has ai vending machines and cafes that are expanding globally they are very profitable already a tiny one million dollar market cap just did five hundred thousand dollars in revenue with two hundred thousand in net profit and actually announced this morning that they have a very big acquisition planned with a private company that is very profitable so this is one we have to watch with some very exciting news and some more updates coming and then i have multiple other different penny stock plays you definitely have to watch so make sure you watch this entire video one penny stock you really have to look at that has done some massive amounts of revenue with a tiny three million dollar market cap is xall holdings ticker xall trading at 0.0018 i actually call this one at 0.0013 it popped all the way to 0.002 so pretty much a 100 percent gainer called on the channel once again 20 million dollars in revenue and actually had net profit this one is undervalued based off of that alone so you know considering they only did six under six million dollars in revenue for 2022 and that jumped all the way to 19.1 million dollars just one year later definitely one you have to watch net income of 2.8 million dollars but considering you know they had that huge revenue growth and you know achieved 20 million or just under that for 2023 in total revenue and you know had you know pretty much 3x revenue growth actually beyond that um compared to one year ago definitely keep this one on watch this ticker cbia a triple zero penny stock trading at 0 0.0004 just had some very big news announced on their Twitter page just this morning. They, the Focus acquisition has been in the works for some time. It is a private company that is already very profitable. More details very soon. So it's, this also comes just before they're coming out of a mandatory quiet period. They said this just a few days ago after wrapping up non-dilutive financing discussions which is very big for a company that has a very large outstanding share structure so looking at their last quarter on file it looks like they actually did five hundred thousand dollars in total revenue and actually had net income of two hundred and eight thousand dollars which are amazing margins keep in mind you always have three zeros to these numbers when looking at these charts and also keep in mind guys this is a very high risk company that has unaudited financials this is just according to their latest filing also said this just a few days ago the teams will be sharing news on acquisitions and ai tech components for their systems now what do they do they're actually an ai based company with automated cafes and vending machines and you can see these pictures on their website these are their actual cafes you can see has their name on it blue heaven cafe looks legitimate to me there are three of these or at least three of these pictures in the gallery and then they have their vending machines which are automated as well and they say they are going to have some ai updates for these systems and actually release a pr you know i think just a few months ago that said they had a partnership with pepsi which is a 240 billion dollar company now this doesn't actually mean they have a written agreement or anything big going on maybe it's just their license or you know able to sell their products and their vending machines which is probably what it is but this still caught a lot of attention from retail investors just back in february they actually had a pr where they officially completed its full proof of concept quality control pilot tethered to the successful deployment of 25 state-of-the-art intelligent digital vending machines right here the deployment of these 25 intelligent vending units strategically situates 
BHC, which is Blue Heaven Coffee, at high traffic North American locations across a wide spanning landscape, bolstering the BHC vending network and enhancing accessibility for customer. And guys, this is really big right here if it does actually play out. It says, furthermore, BHC is on track to deploy an additional 43 machines by May 31st, 2024. Each digital machine will be stocked with a diverse array of products, including snacks, beverages, and travel essentials. So they're expanding very rapidly. And you can see quarterly growth has actually jumped up like crazy for the last few quarters. Balance sheet is actually looking very good. $2 million in total assets compared to only 95,000 in total liabilities. And you actually look at their income statement, it jumped from, you know, had, you know the revenue was non-existent um, for this quarter, you know, their fiscal year act actually kind of weird here. It says it ends on August 31st, but you can see a few quarters ago had zero dollars in revenue that jumped to 273,000 and then jumped to 327,000 the quarter after that with 126,000 in net income. And then, like I just said previously, just did a record $488,000 with 208,000 in net income have a very big acquisition in the making, they can actually sell advertisement on their vending machines as well. It says BHC's Blue Heaven Coffee's digital touchscreen vending machines seamlessly automate the purchase of DOOH ad space, empowering advertisers to precisely target their desired audience with unparalleled precision and guys something and guys something actually caught my eye here that we need to talk about says the deployment of these 25 intelligent vending units um they said they're going to put these at high traffic north american lo uh, locations and you look on their website every single one of their um vending machines is actually located in canada so this may not just be updated on their website and you know they also said something very big I already said still on track to deploy an additional 43 machines by the end of may which is huge you know, it's also key to know that they have programmatic advertising revenue which is anchored to a volume-based formula which increases revenue baselines through the support of additional screens and when they talk about on twitter where their teams will be sharing news on acquisitions and you know the ai tech components for their systems looks like they are upgrading the ai um, technology side of their automated vending machine which is actually very good, uh, good to see because a lot of these are outdated you know you see a lot of vending machines that are outdated just definitely one to watch blue heaven coffee ticker cbia expecting non-dilutive financing as a catalyst huge upgrade to their systems and also they're expecting a very big acquisition with a private company that is very profitable details coming soon so definitely keep this on your watch list for some updates and a potential move if they do actually come out and follow through with these prs that they are talking about as of right now next thought we have to talk about is hyrule corporation ticker h-i-r-u trading at 0. 0.0006 just had some massive news we have to talk about just announced the return of 1 billion shares which will be returned to the treasury which means the common or the outstanding share count should be reduced. If you don't know about Hyrule Corporation, they actually had a very successful water bottle producing business and their top customer was Alkaline. And they actually, you know, a few quarters ago at their, you know, at their peak of this business actually did, you know, $7.7 .7 million in revenue and actually had net income of $2.5 million. Now something happened with that customer, which, you know, Alkaline Water was a very, big brand name actually sold in walmart stores and many other massive retail chains across the world so guys that was a very big business they had something happened with that so new management is coming and they are going head first into the gold sector apparently according to their twitter they are about to finalize an issue at least 10 plus prs they say they may break these down up into several prs as all this starts to play out african mining target will be identified in a new pr and new ceo so new ceo new management team big mining acquisition and 10 plus prs potentially coming that's why we're covering this one you know a lot of catalysts expect some very big updates and you know potentially a 1 billion share reduction as you can see guys they haven't diluted 
you know, since I last updated this, I actually have room to dilute around 400 million shares as of right now with the current authorized share count. But the float is sitting just above 2 billion shares. It looks like they updated their website. It looks like they want to get in the logistics sector and the mining sector as well. So they actually signed a LOI with a revenue generating e-commerce retailer and distributor. Said the merging company began in 2017 on Amazon.com as a third party merchant focusing on selling discounted home improvement products, including fixtures, tools, and other home and garden items. To get, uh, today, the company is a distributor for many of the nation's largest brands and lighting plumbing fixtures and large appliances acquisition of a prominent gold mine in west africa setting up a regional office in dubai as a gold trader for its own mine projects as well and then in addition they actually want to achieve profitable resell uh, purchase and resell of the vibrant gold market of dubai so expecting a new ceo and some of the candidates they said that are being courted are affiliated with Nasdaq biofuel and nickel one to three billion dollar type projects and they say details are being worked out and plans include Hyru to be a hybrid to these you know multi-billion dollar projects so they are looking for a very ho a high profile CEO getting into a whole new business line you know aiming for a one billion share reduction have some massive you know apparently according to their twitter 10 plus pr so massive massive news coming or at least in speculation to come in the near time future for hyru this one's trading at 0 0.0006 and could potentially have a massive move once these catalysts start to pour in so you know just a lot of updates coming very soon I'm going to watch that could have at least 10 prs just a lot of updates if these actually do come out and that's it for the video, guys. Let me know in the comments what other plays you're watching, and I will see you on the next video.